In quantum information holography, triangles are not drawn with pencil and paper. They're formed by light spinning at the speed of light. That circle you're looking at, it's a light clock. Every point on it is the tip of a quantum state vector, a tiny arrow of light encoding direction and rhythm. When that light vector spins, its shadow on the horizontal axis is the cosine, and its shadow on the vertical axis is the sine. Those two parts always add up to one. This is the core of all trigonometry. It tells us that the total energy of the light clock never changes. Now let's bring it to 3D. The block sphere shows how quantum states move in all directions. When light spins on this sphere, it creates probability. The higher the vector points, the more likely a particle appears as spin up. Lower down, it's more likely to be spin down. Those probabilities are shaped by the angle the light vector spins through. When two of these spinning light vectors interact, they create interference patterns. That's what we call the law of cosines. It tells us how the angle between them changes the shape of the space they create. It's how coherence and connection between particles is measured. Even the repeating wave of sine and cosine, that cycle you learned in school, isn't just math, it's time. Every wave is a tick of the universe's light clock. So when you learn trigonometry, you're not just learning triangles, you're learning how light spins, how reality is drawn, how your thoughts, body and consciousness are encoded. Because in QIH, trigonometry is the language of light, and you are made of those spinning rhythms.